We've had an amazing time so far seeing some wildlife and going on mini stocks myself. Right now we have an opportunity to go after one of the largest plains animals in the world, the largest antelope species in the world, the eland. And the eland is uh, capable of jumping over a high fence, I'm told. Our buddy Ryan is here. He's, he's already had some success. And uh, this is one of the last animals on, on his wish list is to go after one of these giant elands. So apparently the mornings are really good. So let's go see if we can get an eland down on the ground and see how gigantic they really are. All right, Patrick, as we're driving here, give us some history on the eland. Okay, eland, wow. What a magnificent creature. And are we, we're looking for one that's, that's a big bull. And uh, yeah, it's the world's largest antelope. So it really is a special animal to, to hunt. And uh, what we're looking for is a bull with, with a good, uh, what we call a, a mop of hair on, on the forehead. And that shows maturity. And then a big dewlap underneath, uh, you know, on the neck. Mm -hmm. um, and then they go a little bit like of a blue color as well. So we spotted one this morning and we're going to go and try and see if we can find him again. Awesome. And uh, yeah, just an unbelievable animal to hunt. And, uh, you won't believe how big they are until you actually get one and, uh, and see it uh, close up. Yeah, the zebra here this morning and the giraffe. So animals are all up and around. It's good they're moving. Yeah, well done on your zebra yesterday. Thank you. Yeah. We're going to be looking for uh, hopefully a water buck today as well. And, uh, yes, sir. Yeah. Looking for a good day. This one in the open. The trail of wind blowing here. Much quieter is your window down in the valley. But well, let me not think it in the air as well. Watch out. We're still waiting. We're hoping they're going to come a bit closer to this ditch here and then we'll see if we can crawl our way up to the ditch. But they, they seem to be slowly grazing towards us. So wait and see. We've got him now. He's come out here. Is it that way? No, it's a different one. Is if you look if you look by that you know that water hole water hole across there. Here's the bull on the far left to get head down. Oh uh, yeah, now you can see that. We just drove up to the top of this ridge right here and we're looking over this gigantic valley, which literally all looking at this thing, it looks like Lion King or something like this giant valley where all these animals are walking around. There's giraffe, there's zebra, uh, there's these uh, impala, you know, other antelope species, red hartebeest. Uh, there's water bucks out there. It's like all this stuff comes out in the valley, and these these animals are instinctively uh, designed to feed in these open areas because there's lions, there's uh, leopards and stuff uh, in the woods. And so they try to have a good, clear view, 360 view around them. That's where they feel the safest. It's a beautiful, calm morning. And from what I've seen the Elam, they like to be out in the open, but right now they're kind of in the brush line and they're, they're working their way down. So how are we gonna get close enough? <laughs> that's that's the, the question. That's the fun part. That's what we're waiting yet to do. I guess yeah. we could just kind of wait here and see if they go all the way out in the yeah, open. We're just gonna wait up here and see what they, what they do. They're walking towards that little, there's a little like water hole there. But How many should... shots does it take for an eland? <laughs> could be, could be one, but... Yeah, Often we many. We don't want this thing to fall down in the thick bush there in the river, in the mountain, because... It's Can't get be, a truck in there. 
It's going to be a lot of bush clearing and trying to get all sorts of trees in there. What kind of bird is that? Like that see, noise. see how they're just playing like that? Oh, yeah. Mating, mating, yeah. It's a mating dance? Yeah. Could be mating or We're just waiting for this cow to move out of the way. This bull here. We're about 180 yards away. I'm sitting behind Ryan. The antelope behind me are going crazy. So as soon as this cow clears, Ryan's gonna take the shot. This giant elon. There's antelope literally all around us. As soon as he puts that left leg in front, Ryan's gonna squeeze. They're probably both going to have to shoot. These Impala are coming into the shot, though. Okay, guys. <laughs> Giant animal, dude. Monster. <laughs> Freaking monster. That was a perfect squeeze. Yeah, I like, saw, I just I, took my time. I saw I saw exactly where the shot hit him. It was on yeah. the money. One shot would have been fine with him, but we just don't want him to get to in the bush. That thick bush. That's it, that's it, that's it. He's a giant. Wait until you get up to him. <laughs> that was crazy. I've never, I've never been this close to an animal that big, let alone get the chance to hunt it. And it's just a blessing. And I was so excited to get up close to it and really see how massive that animal is. Yeah, great shot. It was crazy. We had antelope like all around us. I know you weren't looking, but there was antelope I could like, hear. jumping over. There's bulls. And then we had them behind us. They like, like, were like, yes, they were. We were surrounded by animals. It was crazy. That was awesome. That was incredible. <sighs> oh, man. Good job. I'm shaking too. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it just looks big from far away but that was one of the coolest sits I've ever had on a hunt. We, 
we snuck out here into this open field. We crawled our way, we had to be super sneaky. We got behind this little berm. It's only like a two foot ditch. And then we had to just sit and wait for everybody to just calm down in the field. <sighs> Cause every animal watches each other. Antelopes are watching the, the other antelopes and, and whatnot. It's just insane. So <sighs> man, I'm happy for Ryan and I'm, I'm shaking. I didn't even shoot the animal, I'm shaking. So, whew. Man, that's what hunting's all about, all right? Let's go see how big this eland really is. Dude, that thing is massive. It is absolutely massive. Yeah. I, I'm just from here, there's the other elands trotting away. Largest antelope in the world, right here. Just in case, we're, I'm going to stay back in case this thing gets up. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Awesome job yet again, David. Largest antelope in the world. You just got it done. You just got it done. Got it done. Great shot. Thank you. I've never seen ticks like this. They're like an iridescent. This thing's hit. Iridescent looking ticks. This big blue chila. See how blue it is. Shows his age. Loss of loss of hair. So so little hair here. Yeah, it's just his skin. Big blue hanging chila. And a nice nice deep cone. See how thick this mop of hair is here. Yeah. I call that a mop. Mop or cone. Wow. All sorts of, it's like the same plant. Marks right here on their head? They have a scent gland on their on their head. Yeah, it's all the oil and stuff inside. What an amazing animal. How does that smell like? It's not, not so great. Not so great. <laughs> wow, you guys did that amazingly. Okay, now nice we need work. the legs up. There we go. So that one's okay. We need this uh, leg We've gotten a lot of the Young men from the uh, Quest Africa uh, camp to actually come over and they just flip that eland around like it was nothing. They work out every day, they run like six miles and have to do fitness training every day, so it's lucky to have them around. I have to remember how big these things are, but I think they're like 1,800 pounds, something like that. Absolutely massive, so we just had to flip them around to get the, the sun right to get a photo. Delicious! I've heard these are delicious. They have huge steaks, you know, fillets, their tenderloins are going to be gigantic. This is going to be absolutely delicious meat. It's very oh, hey, how's it going, Lens? Oh, nothing. Just about walked into it. Rob, are you ready to hunt? Yeah, we're just going to take it. Rob has actually had a sty and his eye, it's been extremely bad. And he pretty much spent the whole day yesterday just trying to heal it. I've literally been uh, trying to mother it myself, putting cream in it, you know, putting cloths and, you know, telling him to take naps. I, it's really tough, especially when you're trying to bow hunt. So I think now he's just gonna tough it out. World's most dangerous game. These are breeders right here, so. These aren't to be messed with. And they introduced these to other parts of South Africa so the population can, can stay up. So they do a lot of that here at this this ranch. Oh, man, they just look at you like, what are you doing? Well, there you have it, y'all. The world's biggest antelope down. Congratulations to Ryan on that. And we're going to be enjoying some of that later this week and eating some other species, so a lot more videos to come. Plus, this afternoon, like literally right now, I'm getting ready to go film uh, Rob's hunt, where we're going after either a water buck or an Inyala with a bow. So, should be really interesting. You guys, go subscribe to uh, Lunker's channel down below if you haven't already. And we're kind of taking turns filming each other. So, that's what's up next. And then myself. I'm going to be going after one or two more animals with a bow 
if the wind cooperates. It's been extremely windy out here, but it is a beautiful day and that makes it just a lot better for using the bow. So stay tuned, keep it locked right here. Subscribe, go ahead and hit the like button for some more awesome, amazing South African hunting. And we will see you right back here very soon on the next hunt. Thank you.